Hi everyone, our company is Veritas Medical LLC and we're from the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. We've developed an innovative solution for one of the biggest problems in healthcare today. Hospital acquired infections kill thousands of patients each year and catheter related infections make up the largest percentage of over 100,000 deaths each year. At Veritas Medical what we do is selectively target and kill the bacteria that cause these infections. This is a petri dish full of E. coli, one of the biggest causes of infections on catheters. We've been able to show a 96% reduction in bacteria with a single treatment. The Lightline catheter is the flagship product of our company. It provides a safe and effective sterilization of catheters while inside of a patient. Our management team consists of biomedical and electrical engineers as well as student doctors. We have a combined 20 years of industry and research experience. We also have a great supporting staff from the University of Utah who have helped oversee the development process. Our story begins with one of our best friends, Jeff. At 25, Jeff was diagnosed with chronic kidney failure. Like hundreds of millions of patients worldwide, Jeff has to use a catheter as part of his medical treatment. Unfortunately, during the course of Jeff's treatment, he developed a very serious infection that nearly took his life. It was after this we decided to solve the problem once and for all. A catheter is a device put into the skin that allows doctors to access the internal parts of a patient's body. They are used all the time in medicine, from chemotherapy, dialysis, even shock. Jeff has to use one every day to even go to the bathroom. And all of these catheters have the same basic problem. They all get infected. To understand how big the problem was, we began to meet with doctors, nurses, hospital administration, patients, and payers. This helped us to know exactly what they wanted and needed and what they didn't. Based on these findings, we narrowed down to the two catheter markets in which we could have the biggest impact, and these are the venous and urinary catheter markets. Within these two markets, there is a combined total of 350 million catheters used each year. Each has a 5 to 10 percent infection rate, which means nearly 30 million people this year alone will get a catheter infection. To complicate the problem even more, the Center for Medicare decided recently they could no longer afford to reimburse hospitals when a patient got infected, which means that hospitals are now forced to spend out of pocket $11 billion in order to treat infections. This is a huge problem and hospitals are desperately seeking a solution that will save patients' lives and save them money. So we started looking at the market leaders, what they were doing and why it wasn't working. We saw they were trying lots of different chemical and antibiotic coatings and silver impregnated catheter techniques, but none of them were effective long term. In fact, hospitals saw the biggest success in reduction of infections by increasing the number of nursing hours, increasing tests, replacing dressings, and constant monitoring. This led to a huge increase of treatment costs. So as we came up with possible solutions, we would check in and get feedback from our stakeholders. Our value proposition is based on the needs specifically identified by this feedback. We initially decided to use ultraviolet light because it was known to kill bacteria, but unfortunately we could not find a way to make it safe to use in patients. We had to pivot our course to find something new that was both effective at killing bacteria, but was also safe to use in humans. Through much trial and error, we discovered several wavelengths of visible light, which could also be used to kill bacteria, but had no effect on human cells. With our first to market visible light technology, we have already shown a 96% reduction in bacteria with a single treatment, and this will increase as we continue our laboratory testing. We have a comparable cost of goods as the industry leaders and can compete on similar price points and maintain good profit margins. However, because we offer excellent value proposition, we will use a value-based pricing model to market our device. At this price, hospitals will still save billions of dollars in out-of-pocket expenses while saving patients' lives. Our sterilization system attaches easily to the catheter and light is transmitted from tip to tip, inside and out. Our next generation prototype will provide continuous sterilization the entire duration of the catheter, without any additional clinician time. Because our device is so simple to use, very minimal training will be needed and automated treatments will save thousands of man hours. We started this project in the fall of 2011 after Jeff developed his first serious infection. 
We filed provisional and utility patents on our technology and are currently doing laboratory testing on our device. Later this year, we'll be finishing up prototyping as well as adding additional defensive patents to our portfolio. Within the next year, we'll begin the 510K FDA clearance process. We plan to enter the market by early 2016, initially selling locally and through national distributors. Our path to market is very clear. We will work with key opinion leaders to perform and publish clinical trials. After we have FDA clearance, we will go direct to industry conferences, healthcare training, to get our device into the hands of the doctors and nurses who will use it and let them see how easy it is. We won't hire an expensive sales force. Instead, we will work with national specialized distributors. And our long-term strategy will be through an OEM licensing agreement with industry leaders. Through partnerships with manufacturers and distributors, we can get our device into the market quickly and inexpensively. Our long-term strategy focuses on maintaining lean operations, new market penetration, and an OEM with industry leaders. Our first financial milestone will consist of finishing prototyping and product verification and validation. Our second phase will focus on FDA clearance through the 510K pathway. This funding will largely come from non-dilutional sources, such as competitions, grants, as well as a portion from venture debt and an investment opportunity. We will also focus on setting up key manufacturing and distribution partnerships. In our third phase, we will enter the market with our disruptive technology and begin market penetration. We will hire a full staff as we grow and continue to translate our technology into new markets. In summary, the Lightline catheter is an innovative solution that will stop catheter infections and is safe to use in patients. We are looking to exploit an $11 billion pain point in a growing market, and we have a clear regulatory pathway to gain FDA clearance. Our device is also scalable within the venous and urinary catheter markets, as well as translatable to additional catheter markets. We believe that our device will not only make money, but it will save lives, just like Jeff. Jeff nearly died from his infections, and we never want to see that happen to anyone else ever again. But we need your help. So join with us in making the Lightline catheter shine the way to a bright future to save millions of lives and billions of dollars. Thank you.